How is it, everybody? Right. So, in my absence, I've been looking for something different to play. You saw I bought the Alaska recently, got the jump part. Um, also, Apex Legends Season 3 is out. I will be uploading some gameplay of uh, that later. Uh, I haven't been doing a lot of Apex Legends lately. Um, I just found the community to be toxic. I've downloaded, I've installed, I've played one or two games, but um, that's some Eastern European oak. Fuck you, fuck you, you fucking... I was like, okay, never mind, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to uh, World of Warships, where it's less toxic, or so I thought. Anyway, right. Um, when the American cruiser line split, that was a good while ago, uh, Pensacola and the um, Cleveland... All moved around. The Dallas was, uh, and the Indian, not the Indianapolis, New Orleans. They're at tier six. Uh, no, not the New Orleans. Anyway, whatever. I've got the Dallas. Dallas is a fun ship for some of the uh, assignments and sometimes in a little bit of PvP. But the one ship in that line. So I got the Indianapolis, I got the New Orleans, but the one ship in that line at tier 7 that I never bothered getting was the Helena. Now this week's mission is Narai, and um, that's obviously tier 7, so I use the Indianapolis, it's a premium, and I get a credit booster, as I'm firing like an idiot here for at least 3 or 4 solos into the mount. But the one ship I never got was the Helena, so popped onto Reddit, was Reddit, hey guys, how's the Helena? And the one person said, it's a tier 7 booster. You, just like the Dallas, just like the Cleveland, the Seattle, you park it behind an island and you use its amazing shooting arcs. Um, so I decided, you know what, it's, what was it, 5, 5 million credits? So a bit of credits I can spare while I'm still shooting into the mountain and getting frustrated. Let me get it. Uh, I had some components left because I sold my Edinburgh after that very short match. I've ground the Edinburgh and I don't actually ever plan on playing that tier 8 piece of shit ever again. To be seen most. And I still keep shooting into the mountain. Anyway, the Edinburgh is... It's not a good ship. So I sold it so I had a good one. Components and stuff left, or upgrades, whatever you want to call it. So I bought it, mounted it on the Helena. The one thing I did was obviously the searing, because you're going to be WASDing a lot in this thing. Um, first thing I noticed, and I played it, I had to play it a little bit just to get all the upgrades for the B hull, etc. Um, first thing I noticed, you are, <laughs> I think I've got five games that aren't operations in it, and four of those five games, yeah, four of those five games. I've been bottom tier. You are, and I'm here bottom tier. I'm tier seven in a tier seven to nine match. I do feel for the Nelson BBs uh, in a match like this for my Nelson. And I should actually do some Nelson gameplay. That gives me an idea for the next video. Um, if I was a Nelson, I would be firing HE and just ripping the enemy battleships of the AA, etc. Not that we have any CVs in this match. Okay, so, finally I'm starting to land some shots and still hitting an island. That's fucking pissing me off. But 700 damage to the enemy uh, Helena. Um, and there's actually quite a tragic story around the Helena and the, for 4,000 doubloons you can buy a commemorative camo for her um, marks uh, contains it is actual camo scheme that she was carrying when she got sunk and then of course um, they put uh, three eagles away the torpedoes hit her the night that she was sunk in World War Two. it's a bit of a tragic story not as bad as the Indianapolis but a bit of a tragic story around it anyway I finally found a mountain that I can shoot over and enemy chassis, I think, is moving in. Um, and now I'm gonna go all booster running. And 
for some reason, he is going to turn to my left side, his right side, and that's because there's a destroyer there. And he wants to get that island there. So that island in B3, and um, yeah, that's emails coming through while I'm doing my voiceovers and stuff. Bloody, bloody annoying. Right. Um... So he's keeping that island between him and the destroyer, obviously, as you can see nicely there, because he does not want to get destroyed. Uh, and now he's holding stall. The, I've got a 10 point captain in this one. I do not have concealment expert. I decided to take IFHE. I mean, look at this thing. It's got 33,000 hit points. Uh, any one of these ships will blap the living daylights out of it. Had a match earlier, seven to nine, and then Alaska. And since I know the Alaska, I own it now. Um, just absolutely obliterated me. Three citadels. Oh, they had like 300 HP left. I think he did like 11,000 per hit, whatever it was. Um, so I've set two fires on him already, and I'm just going ham. Uh, He's slowly starting to move closer, and these emails are really starting to piss me off. But right, I can't seem to mute them. Okay, anyway, back to the game. Another fire. 34,000 damage already. Um, now, I was uh, reading, listening to Mishas and, um, and one or two of the other players, uh, prominent YouTubers, and they essentially said, look, if you can do 100,000 damage during a match, doesn't matter what you are in, you are having a good match. I am always guiding it, uh, and, and my guide has always been, even in World of Tanks, is if you can do the damage equal to, or equal to, or more than the HP of your ship, then you've contributed. Um, and, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, reach. 48,000 damage on a 33,000 HP ship. So I'm at 1.5 of my damage. And there's, I think that was a Vladivostok. He was trying to sail off the map earlier and now he's trying to hide behind the islands. And I don't score as many penetrations on him. I don't know if it's his deck armor or anything. I need to actually go and study up on it. Even with IFHE. You'll see eight shatters, three penetrations. Um, could be that I was also aiming like a, a, a sort of idiot at the stage. Six penetrations and six hits. Um, but I do like the fact that this thing's got 15 guns. Um, and there we go. Fire. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, Ibuki is taking care of the poor enemy, Helena. Um, and I am just throwing HE at him. And this is an incredibly annoying gameplay. I know, I had a jean Bart game a little while ago, and I mentioned it uh, before, that uh, there was actually a booster sitting behind an island, and he was just burning me down. Now, obviously, I'm not in a booster, I'm in a mini booster, and I realize I have crept out from behind this island, and this uh, BB is aiming at me. I'm waiting for the shells, here they come, and let's hope I've moved back enough. Ouch, okay, lucky shot there. Only 4,000 damage. Um, I'm still landing hits on him. He's uh, set up the fire that I started. Um, there we start another fire. Beautiful, another six penetrations. And there we go. Right. 78,000 damage. Time to get out from behind the islands. We are still even on ships. They've lost four. We've lost four. So while I chase the Kronstadt, I will drink my proverbial coffee. Oh, the coffee is good. My mat. Oh, my cap um, matches my... Uh, I want that. Cap. Mug. I want this in mug. Anyway, so, chasing the Kronstadt. And as you can see, 
One of the guys is like, hey, can you guys try shoot something that's not a battleship? And I'm like, why? Alright, well, I'm chasing a Kronstadt, but he's actually going to try and get to F0, which doesn't exist. He's trying to sail off the map. Um, and I decided to turn towards B. We need caps. They're, they got two caps, but less ships than we do. And the uh, enemy Fletcher takes care of uh, our Fletcher. Apologies, takes care of the enemy Nelson. I do feel for the Nelsons in this match. Um, I'll do some Nelson gameplay in the week. Uh, it won't be an operation. It'll actually be some proper proper matches. Support that target. Um, right, time to head to B. And that poor Kronstadt, he is literally trying to sail off the map. Uh, what, oh, Lance, what are you? And that one, three, whatever. Mm. Okay, so Al Nelson is actually doing the correct thing. Bow tanking towards B. Uh, one enemy battleship left is over there, that's in Iowa. Three cruisers and two destroyers. So we are slowly getting the upper hand. Um, there the Iowa fires, but he is way out of my gun range. And it's a little bit of a pain in the ass on the Helena. She's got, with upgrades, I think 14.3. Somewhere around there. Uh, so you, you kind of got to get close. Um, I don't want to get close to battleships. Alright, so the Nelson honks at me. I don't know, honk at him. I see you, bro. Yeah, I, I see you. There's a... Oh, is that Seattle? Sticking his... Yeah, that's a Seattle. Sticking his tail out. Alright, bro. <laughs> and I start a fire. I think he's going to actually put the fire out immediately. I... And this guy is just, yeah, I thought Apex was toxic and then I noticed how toxic this game was. But this is the most toxic game I've had in a while. Look at these fucking emails stop coming through. Anyway, there's the Seattle. Um, let's get some damage on him and let's start another fire. Beautiful, beautiful. Because he used his damage control party earlier, I know that fire is going to burn. He radars me. Ooh, when I get the kill. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Uh, ouch. Almost, almost got smacked hard by that Iowa. Um, Alright, let's get into B. I want to capture B. See if I can deal with this Fletcher. Uh, and now that that's Seattle, it's literally the Iowa and the Seattle. That's been dealt with. Well, that needs to be dealt with. And the Georgia deals with the Fletcher. I think the Georgia would be probably what I want to go for next. Coal wise ships. Don't have any coal, don't really have any steel left after I bought the Jean Bot. But I do enjoy the Jean Bot. She's a good she's a good ship. Good credit maker. Wow. Bad game and get fucked. Seriously people, there are young kids playing this game. Can we not type so? Um, and then now it's the proverbial learn how to snipe, yada yada. Okay, so you got double citadel, so what? Heal up bow tank, then. Try and sail off the edge of the map. Anyway, so there's a church on the right side, and he's doing the right thing. Going forward in, I get an assist. 90,000 damage. I need like 99,000 damage, and I've done triple my um, HP. And yes, with the HP pool in these high tier matches, 90,000 damage isn't a lot. It's not a little either. Um, but it's considering I'm a tier 7 ship. These things do not do a hell of a lot of damage. Most of it was by fires. I mean, I started 8 fires, 227 hits. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, you're so ignorant, blah, blah, blah. Ugh, frickin' hell, people. Sorry. Next time I'll do a, 
I do a voiceover or one of these video overs, I will close my email client. That has been annoying, but I don't want to go through 15 minutes of narration just to take three things out. So, enemy Iowa lost seen in H2. He's now down in J1 ish, J2 ish, moving up. Um, Obviously, Georgia has amazing range. I need to get a lot closer. <laughs> you can get a little further into the J1 line. Shame, you got a feel for the guy. You're not at the corner yet. All right, so turn. This thing's got pretty good firing angles. Um, not quite an angle I want to expose to an Iowa, but it's decent enough. I mean, I can get all, all five turrets or 15 guns going. Nine penetrations, 94. Oh, so close. All right. Almost 95,000 damage. For a tier 7 ship in a tier 9 match, I will take that. I will take that any day. Let's see. 5,000 XP. Oh, Cruiser Expert. Consolidating success, whatever that. 94,000 damage. Very nice. Third on XP. I will take that. I will take that any day. 150,000 uh, credits. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Helena for you. Play it like a Worcester, sit behind an island, and enjoy her. I will be back soon with some more gameplay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.